Hey everybody, welcome back. I have my molds to share with you, so I'm going to show you what I molded this week and let you know how it performed for me in my home. Start off with these, I guess, <clears throat> from Candles from the Keeping Room. This is Serendipity Marshmallow Delight. This one was really, really good. You definitely got a lot of that serendipity. The marshmallow helped tone it down quite a bit. Had a really good throw on it. I'd call it a medium throw. I liked that one. Ginger Snap Cookies from Can Do Candles. Pretty good. Had a really nice, strong, intense ginger scent. Um, with that little bit of bakery in the background for, I guess, the cookie. But it was pretty good. Had a light to medium throw. From Sniff My Tarts, I finally finished half of a pan. I think they call them a pan or she cake or she cake, half a she cake. An apple cider latte. I still have like two or three more not in that scent. There's, there's a lot of wax in there. It takes me quite a while to get through that because I like to mix it up a good bit like with what I melt. But I love their coffee scents. I need to place another order with them when they open up again. Um, Hopefully. But yeah. I love their coffee. This one was really good. You got the apple. You got the like Mulling cidery spices, super good. Loved it. From Up the Creek Scents, raw cake batter did pretty good. It's a lighter scent, raw cake batter. It's just like um, the name implies. It smells like a wet cake batter, but it it's a lighter scent for me anyway. From Derriere, this is Carnival Ride, pretty good. Little on the light side. It was like a caramel apple type scent. Um. Maybe a little bit of cotton candy mixed in there, and I don't know why my camera just got dark, so hopefully you'll be able to see all this. From L3, Blackberry Jam Pretzels, pretty good. A little light, hard, a little hard to smell, but you definitely got like the blackberry. The pretzel, you definitely could smell like that yeasty bread note. Glitter Ottery Candle Company, Grape Soda Waffle Cone. <laughs> Zucchini bread. That is a mouthful. This one was really good. You got the grape. You got the waffle comb. I had a really good throw on it. And, yeah. was I like that a lot. Not disappointed at all. Um, this doesn't have a label on it. This was from Alamo Candelaria. It's one of the um, signature tarts of theirs. Like a hockey puck. This is in the scent Lemon Biscotti. I only mounted half because they're super thick. And that's like a lot of wax. So I only threw half in at a time. And I don't even think it was cured yet. Um, it was good. It was a nice lemon bakery type scent. But it wasn't like your generic lemon bakery scent. If that makes any sense to you. There was like some other stuff in there. It was so good. And I really did like that one. From BZ. This is glazed cinnamon donut. Only used half because I put it in one of those really tiny tea light melters. Started using tea light warmers lately, only one of them, and I'm super impressed. I get better throw out of my tea light than I do some of my hot plates. But um, that was a side note there. Really good. You got the cinnamon, you got the bakery background for what would be the donuts. So pretty good. From One Little Indian Scents, this is Sugar Plum Fairy Dreams. I'm trying to get rid of some of my Christmas. I still have Christmas that I'm melting through. <laughs> Who would have thought it? But this one's pretty good. I mean, it, I used half. It was pretty thick. So, it's, you could definitely smell it. You could smell, like, the plum and, like, a little bit of, like, a spicy note in there. It was good, had a good throw to it, but it dissipated very quickly. So, I liked it. I just wish the scent would have lasted longer. And this, I have no clue who it, who it is. They have, like, all this packaging, and they don't put their name on the tart, which is really stupid. I mean, that's not good business. Um, I got it at a craft fair. It was a, it's a vendor, but I can't remember who. But it doesn't really matter because they were horrible anyway. But I wish I could remember the name so I can tell you so you don't buy them because you're just going to waste your money. But I can't remember the name of it. How do you like my little bag fix, my clothespin? I only have one cue in there and I didn't want to waste a bag for it. On to some rose curls that I melted. Kaylin's Berry Patch, pretty good. This one's always a lighter, medium throw to me. Um, super fruity, intense fruit, red fruit scent, but it's on the lighter side when I melt it. Koopa Troopa Salt, I can't remember what all is in here, but I definitely get kind of like a bakery lime with maybe a, a hint of like berry in there, but it's pretty good. It's a light to medium throw as well. Pear of Pleasure, I just melted this the other day. Um, 
it's not as strong as I thought it would be. On cold, it's super intense, but warmed, it just wasn't that strong. You definitely got the pear and like maybe a little bit of apple or something, but it just wasn't that strong. Strawberry mint ice cream, one of my favorites from them. Their strawberry is awesome. Super rich strawberry sweetness and that mint and the ice cream, it's just delicious. I love that scent. Ooey gooey crackers, really nice kind of caramel, maybe a touch of cinnamon in there. Bakery scent, very good. I always love this scent. Pretty good throw on it, I call it a medium. Quite enjoyable. And then my bag with my clip is in the scent of cinnamon glazed oranges. Really good. I love this scent. You definitely get a nice cinnamon spice orange scent. Pretty intense. It's actually, I'd call it a medium throw. It's very good. Just a couple scent shots. This is from Melt My Heart Tarts in Big Top Circus. And I believe this is an ounce. Yeah. And I know she prefers a Glade warmer, but I actually tried this in a tea light and I was quite happy with it. I, um, you definitely got like a caramel apple, maybe a touch of like a sugary cotton candy, but it was pretty good. And I mean, it's only an ounce, so it was really good throw on that. I like that one. If I can pick it up from BZ, this is Cranberry Orange Scone. Hopefully you can see that. But pretty good. It's, it was actually lighter. I mean, cranberry orange, it was really strong on cold. I thought it'd be a little stronger, warmed. It wasn't as strong as I thought it would be, but it was still good, just a little light. From Lasting Sun Candles, Cocoa Lime Cookies. Super strong lime scent. Really good. It wasn't as strong as a throw as I thought it would be, but you definitely get the lime. You got the cookie. Pretty good, just not super strong. On to the clamshells. Um, most of these are Better Homes and Gardens. Sweet Roasted Chestnut is the first one. I don't, this one's always hard for me to describe. It's kind of like a warm, salty type of scent. Mixed with a little bit of like a clone, but not too much on the clone. I have no idea. It has a decent throw. It smells interesting. I like using it into in the bathroom warmers. So, it's an interesting scent, and I like it. I just can't describe it. Go figure. Twinkling Holiday Lights. This one was good. Got a little fruit. Got a little greenery, like pine in there. And it's just a decent one. Had a good throw to it. I like that one. Um, warm cashmere sweater. Very nice, comforting scent. It reminds me of pulling your towels out of the dryer when you've used, like, a lot of dryer sheets. Super fresh, crisp, clean scent. Very comforting, soothing. Um, festive holiday cheer. Love this one. It's like a cranberry spritzer type scent. And you definitely get the fizzy effervescent note. I love it. And the cranberry is just nice and tart with a touch of sweetness. Butter rum brulee. Nice. Very light. Very light scent. Creamy custard with a little bit of cinnamon in there. But it is on the very light side. Christmas Morning Latte, also a very light one for me, very light throw, um, really don't get a whole lot of coffee, it's more like a cup of coffee with like half a cup of creamer in there, and it's just, it's not that strong at all. From Sensationals, Glimmering Pearl, this one's nice, it's like a soft musk type scent, that's the best way I can describe it, like a vanilla musk. Um, it was pretty good. It had a good throw to it. I did enjoy that one as well. From Ashland, this is, what's the scent? Cucumber Melon. Yeah, big dud. Big, big, big dud. I tried 24 watts. I tried my little 20 watts in the bathroom. I tried small rooms. I tried bigger rooms. I tried whatever. It did not throw, no matter what I did. And the wax was incredibly sticky and hard to get out of the warmer. Onto the two candles I did melt. Like I said, I'm trying to get through some Christmas scents still. Don't judge. <laughs> From Slacken, this is Tree. This is also an old candle. Um, did well. Had a really good burn. I didn't have any issues. It had nice thick wicks. I wish they'd go back to being that thick. I don't know if you're going to be able to see all that. But super thick wicks. Burned really well. And... It did have a throw to it. You definitely smell, could smell the pine. Very good. And this is Frosted Gingerbread, which I think was from, like, last year. I don't know. But, 
super disappointed with this one. This one tunneled, this one drowned, and everything under the sun happened to this candle. I had to pour wax out just to keep the flames going. Um, I couldn't trim the wicks at all, and it was just, it was awful. But I wasn't about to try to fight with them to return any type of candle that I don't have the receipt for because I always have issues with them in doing that. So I'm not going to do it. Um, <clears throat> but that's my melts for this week, guys. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them, and I will talk with you guys later. Bye, everybody.